Hi, I'm Dina Leggett. And I'm Alicia Marusic. And we're from Allen High School. And we're here to talk to you about the globally harmonized system of chemical safety symbols that will be a wonder for you in the lab. We want to make sure in your notes, if you have these notes, that you are on this chart. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to talk about and describe the symbols, and you need to take notes on those symbols. Are you ready? Absolutely. And you know, just to make sure, these are going to be a quick way of us identifying some safety things to make sure that we all stay safe um, without necessarily having to look up the safety data sheet. It's going to be a quick way of us identifying um, some safety concerns. So, And remember, even though they're not on here, always wear your goggles and yes. your closed-toed shoes. Can't forget that. And apron. Oh, and your apron. Okay, and apron. <laughs> let's get started. All right, so here is the first one. It just looks like an exclamation point. Yeah, What's it much. supposed to tell me? It's like, woo-hoo, chemistry. It's like, caution. Well, what it is, it's for an irritant. And irritants are things that could cause us a rash on our skin or cause us some irritation in our eyes. And so there would be something kind of like poison ivy that you, we would want to make sure that we kind of wash off and take care of. So just something to kind of keep an eye out for. But they're not super dangerous. It's just something to be aware of. So, so. an exclamation point, it's just like, whoops, watch out. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Got All right. It. So here is the next one. What do you think this one is? Um, I don't know. You know what? It's test tube and it's eating away at a solid. Yeah. That doesn't look good. And I'm guessing if it can eat away at a solid, it's not going to be so good for my hands. Yeah, not so much. This is the symbol for corrosive, and it does eat away at objects. It's one of the definitions. It also can eat through even metal, so it's pretty potent stuff. Um, and this can cause a little more damage, more like a burn to our skin or to our eyes. So, again, something a little more damaging than just an irritant. Corrosive, this symbol is something you really want to watch out for. And, so. and wash off very, very quickly. If definitely, we definitely. Good. Okay, so here is the next symbol. All right, honestly, when I first saw this, it looked like an atomic bomb going on inside of a person. It does, like, kaboom, yeah. bam! And it's an internal. It's inside of him. So right. this is something called a symbol for health hazard. And these substances can either be cancerous, car carcinogen, it can cause cancer, um, or sometimes it can even be radioactive, which means it would cause mutations, DNA Whoa. and stuff. Yeah, this stuff we're probably not going to deal with in lab. Right. Obviously, but it's a simple we do want to be familiar with. And when you get that opportunity to take AP or IB, we do work with some stuff that we want to be really, really careful with. So definitely something we want to keep in mind. Okay. Absolutely. So here is the next one. Uh, you know, I would hope everybody knows this. Uh, you know, there's people that have this tattooed on their bodies know, right? now. <laughs> and this is skull and crossbone. And to me, even as a little girl, I knew that meant poison. Yes, definitely. The official term is toxic, but I would say okay. poisonous is very similar. Um, toxic just means that it's poisonous and it can cause death. So if you did, hopefully not, we're not supposed to eat or drink anything in the lab, but if somebody did ingest this, we would need to call poison control or and the nurse and 911 basically to get them taken right. care of. So and, and again, that's why we always say wash your hands before you Definitely. leave. Definitely. Just in case you did have something on your hands. Definitely. You might ingest it that way. All right, so here is the next symbol. <gasps> is this... Time to make s'mores. I know, right? Yeah. Camp campfire songs. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So this looks like a just a campfire, honestly. Yeah, it's for flammable. Um, just means it's easily set on fire. We would want to be very careful with usage of a Bunsen burner around this right. type of substance. So we would, I would think we would use a hot plate. Definitely. If we saw that symbol versus a Bunsen burner sheet. Yeah, definitely. Makes sense. All right, here is our next one, which looks very similar. Yeah, but you know, it seems to me there's some sort of cartoon character. If you put a little face oh. on there, and they've got the little flame coming out. I agree. I, I wish I knew who that was, <laughs> but it does look like one of those weird, evil cartoon characters. Now, what letter do you kind of see present in here? I see the letter O. It, I would agree with that. And actually, this is the symbol for something that's called an oxidizer. And what an oxidizer does is it steals electrons away from other substances. And so what that means is it can react in very violent ways. So. Right, and you know, now that I think about it, an oxidizer, that's what happens when we burn things. Yes. So in the presence of oxygen, we're going to get flames Bingo. often. Not always, but often. I agree. Got it. That okay. makes sense now. So here's our next one. Oh my gosh, that looks like a ball swinging through the air that crashed and just fell apart. <laughs> so I, don't, I can't even think of what that is. Like, What does it kind of look like it's doing like this? It, it looks like it's 
exploding Bingo. in a cell. And that is what this is. This is for something that's an explosive. Just means uh -huh. it can very Got easily self-react or, you know, explode if it's, you know, in the right conditions. So we want to okay. make sure we look at the SDS sheet for something like this to make sure we're keeping it under the correct conditions. Yeah. Now, this is something I doubt we would use too Yeah, much. definitely. These are the type of things that chemistry teachers want to buy because they're so much fun. But sorry, kiddos, they usually don't let us. Womp womp. I know, very sad. All right, here's the next one. Oh, you know what? This one reminds me of my husband. How does it remind you of your husband? Because it's a gas cylinder. And that's oh. what my husband does for a living is test the gases that his company puts in gas cylinders. Makes sense. Well, this is the symbol for something that is a pressurized gas, which just means it is a gas that's being stored at very high conditions and uh, pressure conditions. And the reason why we would want to do that is because gases take up a lot of space. So if we can condense them down, we can keep them in smaller containers. But that just means they build up a lot of pressure in there. Right. And, and it doesn't show it here, but we strap those to, uh, not to tables, but to countertops that don't move. Because if those fall over and the top comes mm. up, those are like a torpedo. It'll go through a cement wall wow. depending on the size. It's kind of scary. That would freak me out. Okay. <laughs> and here is our last symbol. I know, poor little... Oh, fishy there. Womp yeah. womp. <laughs> this, uh, you know, this this is a tree without its leaves, which is sad to me because I love fall with beautiful leaves. And clearly a dead fish. Yes. You know, my son got a tuna like this big when we were on vacation. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. But this <laughs> one's <laughs> dead. Although this fish looks like as big as a tree. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they did that, but whatever. Uh, this is for environmental issues, and all it just means is that it can be toxic to aquatic life or to environment, to you know trees and plants and things like that. So again, you know, maybe not something we deal with a whole lot, but just a symbol we want to be familiar with. Well, you know what I like about these symbols is you can think through some of them logically. So I, I like to tell kiddos: the more you can conceptualize, the less you have to memorize. Definitely. And so those are our globally harmonized system of safety symbols. Yes. And so you want to make sure you know the picture symbols with their official name. If it's you know the poison or the toxic, or if it's a, a corrosive, whichever symbol it is, and you want to know the descriptions. So flashcards are a great right. way of making sure you know. And how to I, do that. And, and remember, I, I caught that when you said that. Not the descriptive name. We need you to know the official name. The official category. So until we see you, take care, kiddos. Bye. Okay. Okay. I bet that rocks. Success. I bet that rocks. <laughs>